hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is itesh and i'm back with another tutorial and today we are going to practice some more hard surface modeling and in this one we are going to create this faucet and i'm going to start with a cylinder and i want to keep this as low as possible for the base so i took this cylinder and i'm going to create a duplicate of it and then rotate it like this and the second one i want to scale it down a little bit like this now i'll select both of them go to mesh booleans and union and after the union i'm going to go to edit delete by type history and remove all the modifiers now first what i'll do is i'm going to just remove the faces on all sides like this and delete and now i'll select the vertices go to modeling toolkit and turn on transform constraint to edge slide pull these up like this to align with these vertices and I'm going to repeat the same thing here like this. Now I'm going to go to vertex mode, turn off transform constant and select all the vertices in the middle part. Then merge like this. And now I'll take a multi cut tool to fix this area like this and another one here and one in the middle and now we can select and remove these edges like this maybe we can pull this down a little bit And now what we can do is I'm going to go to top view, go to face mode and delete the half of it. And now we can mirror with Z axis. So we don't have to repeat the same thing on the back. Since we have an N gone here, we'll fix it in a minute. So first I'll just select this and bevel with one segment like this and now i'll take multi cut tool and connect this vertex to this one and this vertex to this one So now we have fixed the issue here and our boolean looks fine except on the back and for the back i'm going to go to top view again delete half of it and one more time i'll just use mirror in the z axis turn my merge threshold to one and this should do the job and we are good to go now what I'll do is I'm going to just extend this a little bit till here to create this area. And this one till here. And the bottom part a little bit more like this. So we'll start from the bottom and I'm going to just merge this to center and then what I'll do is uh, I'm going to select these faces and extrude to create this detail like this and I'm going to select these three edges and bevel. I'm going to turn off the chamfer 
like this. So this looks fine and I'm going to select all the edges down here since they are triangles I'm going to delete them and use connect tool to create these polygons as code. And we are done with this and as for these parts what I'll do is I'll add a segment here and I'm going to extrude this part a little bit to add this thickness and then I'll select this and merge to center and we're going to repeat the same thing we just did down here to make this code so I'll select all the edges and delete then select the vertex and use connect tool and in this part I'll just add one segment here we can remove this edge for now and I'll select this and these two and again use chamfer turn down the friction and as for this part what I'll do is I'm going to add few split like this scale this a little bit and I'm going to go to top view go to face mode select these four faces and I'm going to add a little bit of offset and I'm going to go to edit mesh and secularize change the alignment to surface per vertex and make it a little bit smaller like this using this radial offset And now we can just extrude it like this and we can rotate it to make it like this. And I'm going to select this edge ring and then bevel and I'm going to repeat the same thing up here and now this looks fine as for this bulging what we can do is uh, we can just add few more Edging, or we can smooth it later and this will fix the issue and for this part what I'll do is I'm going to again select this extrude and then merge edges to center and I'm going to select this part add an edge ring then bevel turn down the friction like this and I'm going to select the faces here and intrude them inside like this so that we have this gap that looks like a knob And again for this part also I'm going to add a split then bevel add one segment go to top view and I'm going to select this add a little bit of offset go to edit mesh 
and secularize turn down radial offset change the alignment to surface per vertex and I'm going to extrude this a little bit and then one more time like this and now we can start adding some supporting edges so I'll start with this bevel turn off chamfer and as for the edges on the side I'm going to delete them again use connect tool to convert them to code and to add supporting edges here I'm going to select the edges like this again bevel turn off chamfer turn down the flexion and at last we can add the same thing on this part and we can press 3 and see how it looks so this looks good everything looks fine and we can move on to the other parts now for this part I'm going to select this edge extrude inside a little then extrude it upwards like this and now what we can do is I'm going to select the faces here and I'm going to duplicate them go to right view make it smaller and I'm going to rotate this I'm going to put this here and we can use bridge to create this bend and again I'm going to create another duplicate and place this one here first make it a little bit smaller And now let's select all of them and combine and I'm going to select the edges here and bridge change the curve type to blend and increase the division I'm going to repeat the same thing here bridge change the curve type to blend and increase the subdivision I'm going to select the vertex pull this up a little and now we can start adding some subdivisions for the supporting edges so I'll just select these two bevel turn the chamfer off and I'm going to repeat the same thing here but before doing that I'll just pull this edge up and select the faces add a little bit of thickness and select this part intrude it and I'm going to select 
these edges and bevel and now our model is final maybe we can just select this part push this back a little bit so everything looks fine and we are done with our model so that's it and if you enjoyed this video then make sure to drop a like on this video and do let me know in the comment section you can also subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching